It's Monday night and we got two Western semifinals for you on tap. Relax, sit back and enjoy your Dell KHL update. Both games are in Moscow and we're gonna kick it off out north where Red Army helps Torpedo. Less than four minutes in, Torpedo opened up the score and on a power play. Nikolaj Zhernov puts the puck on net from the neutral zone. Ilya Sorkin gives up a bad rebound and Linus Vidal makes him faint. Vidal nets his first of the blast and Torpedo takes the one after the lead. A little later, Red Army go on a power play and guess what happens? Alexander Rodgerlov sends it in short side with his second of the blast. Jeff Platt gets an assist and it's a tie game, 1-1. One -one. Soon after that, it's Torpedo who got a man advantage. He got a turn if he's Linus Vidal in the squad. He shoots and Nielsen and Rockin somehow kicks it out. My, oh my, what a save. Moving on to the second period, and Torpedo regained the lead. Grigory Panin makes a clumsy defensive play, kicks the puck over to Yuri Sergienko, and it's pushed his first of the playoffs. Nice shot. Torpedo with 2 1 now. Let's get ahead to the last minutes of regulation. Red Army have their goalie pulled. Stefan de Costa takes a shot and rattles off the post. So close. You will regret it later. Torpedo holds on to the 2 1 lead and win game one of the series. Strip of Red Army of Paul Mike's advantage. 2 1 is your final on this one. Game two is scheduled for Wednesday. And how about this rivalry for a second round? Dynamo Moscow versus SKA St. Petersburg. Ilya Kalachuk is finally back in the lineup. It's been a while. Halfway through the opening period, SKA get a man advantage and they convert. Evgeny Tatanov scores his first of the playoffs with Nikita Gusev and Andre Kutekin throughout the assists. SKA get a 1 0 lead. Led in the first, SKA almost doubled their lead. Sergei Shirokov takes a shot on net and gets deflected and it almost lands behind Alexander Yurimenko. Moving on to the second beer with just 42 seconds in and Andrei Mironov takes a wrist shot. Miko Koskinen can't glove it. He has a piece of it but the puck still ends up in the net. Tie game 1-1. 10 minutes later SKA get another man advantage and they get another goal out of it. Evgeny Dodonov scores his second of the night as Vadim Shepachov feeds him in the slot. Nice goal. 2-1 SKA now. Five minutes after that, Dynamo tie it up also with a power play marker. Alexander Osipov hammers it on that and beats Mikko Koskinen. SKA head coach Sergei Zubov uses his challenge to review the play and he has a good reason to. The puck goes in off Daniil Tarasov and his skate appears to be in the crease. The goal counts though, which added twos up to 40. Third period now and here comes the key moment of the game. Denis Baransov levels Yarna Koskiranov and Koskiranov is down. Baratsev gets 5 in the game for checking to the head. That's a bit of a controversial call, but SKA get a long power play. The result? Nikita Gusev scores his second of the playoffs as he gets into Dunov and Vadim Shepachov get the assist. That's the game winner of the night as well. Dunov gets 3 points with 2 goals and an assist and SKA to game 1 3 2. This is just the beginning of what looks like a long series. And that's it for the LKHL update. Come back tomorrow for the first games of the Eastern Conference semifinals. Until next time, my name is Andrea Sachinka. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.